If you are in Bengaluru, I bet you are as eager as I am for Namma Metro's yellow line to be operational. A quick heads up, the yellow line links RV Road to Bumbasandra. I am at Hebagodi Depot in Electronic City where first ever driverless metro train is stationed and is ready to roll. Although it is yet to be operational, here is a first hand look at at least some of the special features the existing trains do not have. Metro trains which will run on Nama Metro's yellow line will have driverless technology. These driverless trains use the unattended train operations technology that prevents collision. The built-in enhanced supervision capability is enabled from the operations control center. In the initial stages, these trains may be operated by local pilots. Going forward, all trains on new Metro lines will be equipped with driverless technology. Another interesting feature about this train is that for the first time in India, the BMRCL is using artificial intelligence to monitor tracks and this system is basically designed to enhance safety in rail operations. In uh, our current trains, what we do is that before starting a normal day of uh, revenue operations, we send a pilot train which monitors the entire line and uh, this train will be carrying all the operational staff from different departments of BMRCL. So if they come across some uh, defect or uh, some issue, that will be rectified so that the normal operations can start without any safety concerns. So uh, the purpose of this track monitoring system is to somewhat uh, automate this process and make it uh, you know, uh, slightly segregated from a uh, human uh, intervention point of view. So this, as you can see, here, here you have two digital line scan cameras which will be constantly monitoring the track as the train uh, moves over the line and these are installed in two trains of each line so these trains would uh, serve the purpose of a pilot train like i was explaining earlier so uh, this train uh, for example would be the first train to go in the morning before commencement of revenue services it will um, complete a um, round trip of the entire line and in that process this uh, track monitoring system would be taking data gathering data of the entire track section and as soon as it comes across a track defect it will relay this alarm or message to the operations control center along with the images of this track defect additionally a new gangway system to connect compartments has been installed in these trains this new feature will negotiate curves up to 100 meters this allows the train to move faster through curves without the risk of uncoupling to detect derailments before they happen, a new obstacle and derailment detection system has been installed. These trains also have a hot axle detection system which can identify and stop the train when the wheel axles overheat. For real-time location, LCD dynamic route maps have been fixed on the door and gangway panel. There are electric signages to showcase routes, advertisements and more. Rear view cameras have been provided outside the train so that the train operator can view the passenger boarding and deboarding the train. Front view cameras will record the front images for safety purposes during driverless operation. In addition to this, CCTV cameras have been installed inside the metro. The first set of prototype 6 coach metro train is manufactured by China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, which is a Chinese state-owned company. The CRRC won a 1,578 crore contract in 2019 to supply 216 coaches to the BMRCA. This metro corridor spanning 18.82 kilometers will connect Avi Road with Bamasandra, passing through key locations like Jaideva Hospital, Silk Boat Junction and Electronic City. Uh, this train uh, uh, is uh, one of the lowest, we have re received the uh, lowest cost in by procuring this train, 7.31 uh, crore per car lowest so far in India but with so much feature so this this our cost is very optimized this is a fully elevated metro line with 16 metro stations it connects with the green line at RV road station with the pink line at Jaideva hospital the yellow line which connects tech hubs like electronic city is expected to ease traffic on Hosu road and silk boat junction the BMRCL said that it will start trial runs on the yellow line by March 8th or 9th using the prototype driverless train that arrived from China on February 14. According to the BMRCL, track laying on the yellow line route has been completed and signalling work is underway. Initially, the yellow line metro trains will operate at intervals of 15 minutes. The BMRCL said train frequency will be increased when eight more trains arrive next year. This crucial metro route is expected to open only by the end of this year. The previous deadline was July 2024. 
After missing several deadlines, Namo Metro's yellow line will only be operational after six months. Trial runs will be conducted in March and April. Here's hoping the BMRCL will stick to its deadline this time and begin operations soon. With camera person Karthik Govardhan, this is Anagha Deshpande for Deccan. Thank you.